Today we are making our favorite cocktails from our favorite movies, and you're going to follow along and learn how to make them too. We are going to cover everything you need to make these drinks, and this is my MySpace Top 8 of Hollywood cocktails. Maybe you agree with our list, maybe you don't, but everybody loves movies and everybody loves cocktails, so let's get into it. Please, large fries and a Cosmopolitan? And before we jump into our top eight list, real quick, we recently made a video covering the basics of bartending. What kit we are using, what's this stuff called, what's its purpose, and some other core things we're gonna want on hand, different glasses and their terminology, the proper way to cut limes, why you shouldn't use ice from tap water, and much more. A link to that video will be in the description of this video. All right, here we go. Eight. And a double kamikaze, please. The kamikaze from leaving Las Vegas. This movie's a big deal for me. It's got Elizabeth Shue in it. She was my first crush growing up. Back to the Future movies, adventures and babysitting, the Karate Kid. This meant a lot to me. It's because I knew I wasn't gay. But fast forward a couple years and there was this new show that came out, Power Rangers. And this was the most badass shit I had seen since Captain Power. And then they introduced Tommy, the Green Ranger. And I... And I wasn't ready for that. My sexual orientation, well, it was back to ground zero. Maybe one day we'll make a green cocktail. We'll name it after Tommy. But in the meantime, let's make some Hollywood drinks. All right, the kamikaze, very similar to a margarita, and it is found in both drink and shot form. But today we're making drinks, and we're going to be using a martini glass, a simple one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. Add ice to your shaker, ice that didn't come from tap water, and one ounce lime juice, fresh squeezed lime juice. One ounce triple sec, triple sec a must-have for margarita lovers, Cosmos, Mai Tai drinkers, and one ounce vodka. And if you do two ounces, we're not judging. And if you're pouring a drink into a glass with no ice, then really make sure you shake it. Then strain it into a martini glass, garnish it with a lime, and enjoy it with friends. Seven. All right, next we're going with the Bloody Mary from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I didn't notice it the first time I watched this movie, but there's more than one Bloody Mary scene. And you should watch this movie if you're in love with Margot Robbie like me. Bloody Marys are very weird to me. I hate drinking vodka straight and I hate tomato juice, but when you combine forces, it's absolutely delicious. It's like your enemy's enemy becoming your best friend. Fill up a pint glass full of ice and add two ounces of vodka. Top it off with your favorite Bloody Mary mix and just mix it back and forth a time or two. You don't need to shake it since we are using the ice. And to me, Bloody Marys are all about the garnishings. I hate celery. Celery is for tortoises, but have as much fun as you want with the garnishings. And before we jump into number six, I want to give a huge huge shout out to today's sponsor who made all of this possible, Olive Nation. Olive Nation is my one-stop shop for my brewing, cooking, and mixology needs. Whether I'm making a stout or a hazy IPA with their organic Madagascar vanilla beans or using flavored baking powder for my famous pizza waffles or whether it be the chocolate coffee beans for my espresso martinis, I always make sure to go with Olive Nation. I've been using Olive Nation for years now, dating back to the hard seltzer days. Their extracts are great for brewing, making hard seltzers, or just making regular seltzers. Check out Olive Nation in the link below and use H4L20 to receive 20% off your next order. Shop smart. Six. You don't put bourbon in or nothing? No. Well, today it does have bourbon in it or rye whiskey. Okay, this really isn't a drink, but who says it can't be? This is the $5 shake from Pulp Fiction, which would probably be $20 these days or $30 in California. I've watched this scene a billion times and wondered what it would taste like with alcohol. So today we're going for it. No real recipe, just want to wing it with about a half pint of ice cream, real ice cream, none of that diet sugar-free garbage. And now here's where the magic happens. One shot Woodford Reserve rye whiskey. About a cup, cup and a half of milk, all depending on how thick or runny you want it. If you've got a blender, then use it. Stirring with a spoon will work, it's just gonna take longer. Pour it into a pint glass and hit it with your toppings. And I was always a caramel guy over chocolate syrup. I thought this would be gross, but it's absolutely delicious. You kind of taste the booze, but more than anything, it just makes everything somewhat smoky. Probably not the healthiest cocktail on the market, but you know, we're living. Congratulations, we just created a new drink, a $5 milkshake drink. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Five. Sip. 
the Cosmo. What would this list be without the Cosmo from Sex and the City? And I was actually a huge fan of this show growing up. It came on after The Sopranos Sunday nights when I was in high school. The Cosmopolitan is very similar to the Kamikaze we made earlier, except that we're going to introduce some cranberry juice. And we're also going to be using a different vodka. Go ahead and kick it off with one and a half ounces of lemon vodka, one ounce cranberry juice, no order in particular, half an ounce of fresh lime juice, and then half an ounce of triple sec or any orange liquor of your choice. Get some ice in your shaker, and again, you really want to shake it up since we're pouring it into a glass without ice. Cosmopolitans are typically served in a martini glass, but if you only have a coupe glass, then I guess we'll let it slide. Or shit, pour it into a coffee mug. Live your life. So just like Carrie Bradshaw. Four. The Red Eye from Cocktail. Young Tom Cruise, super underrated movie. And it's got Elizabeth Shue in it as well. See, this video is coming full circle. Circle of life circle of love. This cocktail separates the men from the boys. It requires a raw egg. They drink this cocktail as hangover cures with aspirin, but tonight we're just drinking it. And all the steps are just one big step. And that step is to not be afraid. Some tomato juice. I'm gonna do an ounce of vodka. I'm gonna top it off with beer. Drop an egg in it and just pray that you don't throw up in front of girls. Three, two, one. Boom, perfect timing. He does, he's got it. That's how it's done. The red eye. Three. And what would this video be like without the white Russian from The Big Lebowski? This movie's got to be in the conversation for most quotable movies of all time, at least for me. This is the movie that introduced white Russians to most people. Let's face it, if this movie never came out and you went on a date and the person ordered a white Russian, it'd be pretty weird. Be weirder than shit. In a rocks glass with ice, we're gonna add two ounces of vodka, one ounce Kahlua, and top with cream or half and half. And just make sure you don't drink these in public with a beard like this. Two. Hollywood's blonde bombshells, a tale as old as time. We're talking the Cameron Diaz's, the Pam Anderson's, the Mama June's, my favorite Joey Lauren Adams, but no bigger blonde bombshell in the Hollywood cinema scene than Marilyn Monroe. This lady is iconic as it gets, and today we are making the Manhattans from her 19th. 1959 film, Some Like It Hot. We've got bourbon. We can make Manhattan. Manhattan cocktail has got to be in the top five cocktails of all time. Maybe top three. Maybe number one. Breaking out the beaker glass for this, we're going to go two ounces of rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, or Rosso vermouth. It's fortified red wine. Also going to introduce bitters for the first time in this video. Now stir for a good 15 seconds. Pour it into a coupe glass, garnish it with an expensive cherry, and enjoy. This is living, baby. One. Before there was this guy, there was this guy. Or better yet, these guys. A man of many faces, but the name in the cocktail remains the same. Same. A vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. See, martinis used to be conceived of only gin, but this guy was a true trailblazer, a true Hollywood pioneer. James Bond with his vodka martini has to be number one on our list. Power move. Hit your martini glasses with water, put them in the freezer 10 to 15 minutes before serving for extra chill vibes. What makes a martini dry? Dry vermouth. What makes a martini dirty? Olive brine. And to me, since I'm not a vodka guy, the dirtier the better. I want three olives stuffed with blue cheese or I want nothing at all. A quarter ounce of vermouth is enough for me. Half ounce of olive brine is what the doctor ordered. Two ounces of vodka. Add your ice to your shaker and shake it like there's no tomorrow. And voila. Enjoy. Do you agree with our list? Did you like this video? Subscribing will possess me to make even more videos. Cheers to eating good, drinking good, and getting a haircut.